Welcome or welcome back to my channel. I don't know how you got here, but I am so glad you're here. I hope you stick around and smash that subscribe button below this video. And also hit that notification bell located beside subscribe. Make sure it's highlighted to all. That way you'll be notified whenever I upload. Mary Brown from Sister Wives recently went live this past Friday with Jen. And they discussed grief and a few other things that Mary is going through and wanted to kind of raise awareness. Like, for instance, let me just give you a little snippet, a little teaser, if you will. She recently had to go have a colonoscopy. That is why she was live in her hotel room. But she just wanted to let everybody know you got to keep check on your health. You got to be sure you go get checked out. Wonderful message to be sharing. She also talked grief because we know Mary was a big part of Garrison's life from the beginning. This subject, this topic of discussion is very, very sensitive. You don't want to just go put out anything and say anything because it is that sensitive. I've seen so many creators be so insensitive about this topic it is unreal but apparently that's that's life that's the world we live in now naturally when mary went live we already knew there was going to be random trolls and people to pick it apart because some people just don't like certain people and whatever that that person does they will pick it apart it don't matter what it is it does not matter they will pick it apart. Per usual, that's what happened on this live. People were like, when Mary wasn't talking about grief, when she was talking about the colonoscopy that she just had, her and Jen were kind of, you know, laughing at certain situations that was involving the colonoscopy, mammograms, all the things, because, you know, everybody has different experiences. Okay, in the comments... There was a lot of comments that were people saying, and like I said, trolls, saying, you were so disgusted, Mary, for laughing. Mary, how disgusted and low down do you have to be? I feel guilty for even watching this. Mary, how are you laughing? And thank God for comments like this. This lady said, leave this family alone. No one has the right to tell someone how to grieve or how to act after they lose a loved one. She may be laughing one minute and crying the next. I watched my daughter bury her 17-day-old son. One of the worst things we ever experienced as a family. But she had another child that turned two. Two weeks later, and we had a party and laughed. And it was something my daughter needed. But then, when it ended, the grief and tears set back in. And so did reality. So how dare anyone bash her because she laughed with a friend? We all grief differently. Maybe we should pray for this family and be nice to people instead of tearing others down. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you for saying that. I'm sorry for your loss. But thank you for sharing that. And thank you for saying pray for the family instead of tearing them down. Another right, she can't win if she's crying and emotional. She's being fake. She's showing too much emotion and she needs to respect his biological mother. Now she's trying to be in a happier mindset with friends. And you want to judge and comment on how she's showing grief. Grief is literally a roller coaster of emotions. Everyone handles it different. And only she really knows how she's feeling. Please, let's be respectful and mindful. That she's a woman, a mother. And she may not be his biological mother. And she may have certain issues with certain of the family members. But which family doesn't? And also, she was a part of his childhood. His life. Be respectful and be kind. We live in a crappy world to have others be so nasty. I think it's even tackier and even more disrespectful that someone's got the kahunas to get on the internet and bash anybody during this time like why are you even saying anything during this time anything other than positive words 
anything other than prayers and healing vibes. Why are you saying anything negative at all? Huh? You need to look at the person commenting, okay? You over here judging somebody on how they grieve. That's, that, uh, mm -mm. nope, no ma'ams. I would love to share Mary and Jen's live right here. Would love to know what you think. Remember, keep it kind and respectful because if you don't in my comments, you will be blocked and banned, point blank, period. Because if you're going to do it one time, I don't need you over here. And I'm being dead serious. Yeah, we all got a right to, you know, different thoughts and opinions, just like we all got a right to block and ban what, you know, what needs to be on our channel. I have a right to block and ban the negativity, the hatefulness, and the trolling, and that is exactly what I'm going to do. I'm going to take that tool and use it, because it ain't got no room here, not in my world. No, ma'ams. That's how you stop hate. You block and ban it, okay? Spread positivity, kindness, and love. Breed love. Breed happiness, breed kindness, breed positivity. That's what needs to be bred. That's what needs to be shared, reposted, and allowed. Delete, block, and ban the negativity and the hate. Ain't no more room in this world for no more hate and negativity. That's just how I feel. I'm going to ask that you continue to lift this family, this entire family. Garrison's friends, fans, followers. Everybody, lift them up in your thoughts and prayers. Please subscribe if you have not already. Like and share this video. And like I said, meet me in the comments below. But remember, keep it respectful. I shouldn't even have to say that, you know. But, I mean, you got to nowadays. And I do want to say, you know, why I will block and ban somebody real quick, fast, in a hurry. That way nobody gets it twisted or confused. Like, she just blocks and ban people for no reason. Now, if you're hateful and ugly, that's what's going to get you blocked and banned. Now, I'm going to turn it over to these two beautiful ladies right here, Mary and Jen. I hope y'all have a beautiful day. I got more coming up, so be sure your notification bell is set to all. Happy Friday. Welcome, welcome to another edition of Fridays with Friends. I'm on the road. We're going to hang out for just one second and get Jen on here, and then we're going to start chatting. I hope she has good internet today. Hi Blair, how's it going my friend? That's me. Oh, that's not her. Oh, hold on. Whoopsie. I think she has bad internet service again. There she is. There she is. Are you joining us, Jen? There we are. Hi. Hello, hello. <laughs> hello. Happy Friday, Blair. Okay. How's your day? You know, it's <laughs> it's been one of those days that has lasted a month, and it's been one of those months that's been all year. Months that's lasted a year. Let's just be real. Yeah. Mm. It's yeah. It's been an interesting interesting one yeah so uh, okay so uh welcome to fridays with friends <laughs> i am mary this is jen we get on here uh, and chit chat on fridays and sometimes there's <laughs> substance and sometimes there's not you just never know <laughs> right so, yeah. yeah anyway but first i do want to say thank you thank you i'm seeing a ton of comments already Hi, Doris. I'm seeing a ton of comments already rolling in um, with condolences to our family. And um, so thank you very much. I, out of, well, two reasons. One, if I talk about it, I'm going to cry and I don't want to. <laughs> so two, out of respect for um garrison's mom and the family i'm just not going to go into any detail i'm not going to ask ask answer any questions so please don't ask them um and you know i just want to respect the family and i hope that you will all respect us um in this time as well so i do appreciate that it's it's been a week we'll just say that it's been a week um, we were 
able to uh, spend a lot of time together last week. And so that was very good. And I think healing in some ways for, for so many of us. So anyway, but like I say, I don't, I just, I want to respect everybody and, and I don't want to cry. So we're going to not talk <laughs> about that except for thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you for so much for sending out all the love and kindness and respect that you guys show to to um our family so and the people that much. donated i received a lot of messages that i passed on you guys but that donated to like the humane society in his honor that was just i just cool. i said i didn't want to cry <laughs> sorry i had to at least say that no it is it it was amazing i think there was two um two organizations in Flagstaff, the Humane Society and something else, I can't remember, that um, you guys have all just so lovingly donated to. And it's just so, so kind. Like, I, I just can't believe what you guys are doing. So thank you. Thank you, thank you. That was, um, has been very kind of you. See, Jen, it's your own fault. I'm sorry, damn it. <laughs> but I couldn't let it go unsaid, you know, like, but dang. Uh. No, it's like it blew my mind when I saw those numbers from, you know, on that that post that people are like throwing out to to the Humane Society just because of his love as animal uh, love for animals and especially his cats. Mm -hmm. So anyway. Yep. So that was very, very, very. But it was a it was a sweet little surprise in yeah. the midst of grief. So anyway yep okay so we can we can change the subject so that we're not all yes <laughs> um okay so guess what what i have to show you something okay show me something is it gonna make me happy what? What? <laughs> she showed me her boobs y'all <laughs> i have so happy i'm so I know. happy about that they're so soft they're like oh, so comfortable adventure somebody's saying who's cutting onions somebody's cutting onions in all of our homes right now oh my gosh yeah. oh my gosh jen that makes me so happy you guys I, you, no. I, as soon as they arrived i like okay this is probably t am i i found the size i wanted i'm wearing a medium i pulled it out in the kitchen took my shirt off in the kitchen <laughs> and threw it on immediately <laughs> like i was so excited and like it's so comfortable and this is what i needed i didn't like i don't want to be in like the stupid shirt i was wearing i want this hoodie i it's so love comfortable. it i love it so you guys if you can't tell what it is oh, i'm so excited are you gonna get them on the website for me jen so obviously i'm traveling we are not together right. um she is she she got the hoodies the lizzie's heritage and hoodies i'm so excited so that's fun i'm hoping they'll be up by end of next week if not sooner I just, I'm waiting for a couple of things. I'm hoping that the other color comes in and then Thank I'd love to have them Sarah. out there because, oh, they're so comfortable and it's snowing outside and this is what I need. This goes with my whole vibe right now. Just a nice comfy hoodie. I love it. That makes me so happy. I'm so excited. I'm so excited. I've been working. You guys have been asking for these hoodies for Lizzie's for the B&B &B for so long and so I finally got them. We have two colors coming, right? Yes. Yeah, so, so far the black have arrived and the other color will arrive when it feels like it. It's like a surprise every day. That's so much fun. I love it. I love it. Sunny yeah. in Oregon, Sherry says. Wow. So, um, I'm how was going to do that tomorrow. Oh, how was my day? Yeah. Let's talk about, about my day. About your day. <laughs> Talk about my day. Y'all want to hear about my day? It's a public service announcement day. If you have not yet gotten your colonoscopy, you should go do it. I did mine today. That's where I was this morning. <laughs> Smooth sailing. Life is good. Smooth sailing. Did you really have to say that? Smooth yes. Really? Yes. 
I, I mean, did because <laughs> it's funny to me. <laughs> it is what it is. Yes, I just had my my third my third of my lifetime of my colonoscopy. All is good. I did have one polyp; it was removed. So we're good. 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 Anyway, I'm proud of you. You got like a whole tune-up. <laughs> I did. Yeah, it's that roto rooter, you know what I mean? <laughs> Just getting it all cleaned out. <laughs> yep. So, yeah. So, if you guys don't know, I have, I mean, you need to do it like at a certain age. I don't know when, like in your 40s, I think is when they're suggesting that you do them. Um, I think, I don't remember, but I have had, have a sister who passed. Um, about 18 years ago from colon cancer. So I've had to kind of stay up on it. I haven't stayed up on it. I did one in 2010, one in 2015, and that was my last one. So there's like nine years in between. Okay, listen, I just saw somebody make a comment that said the prep is awful. Which you expected. Which I expected. I think different doctors do different things because I've had three colonoscopies now and there have been three different kinds of prep for it. So the first one was the worst. I don't know what that stuff was. I don't think I even got it all down me, but it was like, oh, it was the nastiest stuff. It, it was so bad. Second time was just a pill. They're like, okay, we'll let you just take the pill, but you have to swear you're gonna drink like gallons and gallons of water. Because most of the times people don't drink the water. This time it was like over the counter stuff. And it was like that unflavored stuff. What was it called? Miralax. Yes. Mm -hmm. And I just put in a bunch of lemon juice and sugar, and it tasted like lemonade, sort of, kind of. But it did the yep. job. So. <laughs> <laughs> That's good. I'm glad you did that. The went fine. So, y'all, this is your public service announcement to go get your colonoscopies. <laughs> <laughs> right. And, and last time it was mammograms, right? Did we talk about that one? Because you did that one recently and so did I. Yep. Yep. That was last week. Was it last week? No, it was the week before. It was last, sometime last, last in week. The no, nothing happened last week. It was the week before. <laughs> last yeah. week was lost. <laughs> yeah. So someone yeah. said they were awake during theirs. I actually woke up. <laughs> what the freaking heck? <laughs> I did. Like I was, I was laying on my side, and I don't know if I. Let me just tell you how I was laying, so they get easy access. I guess I don't know. <laughs> but I remember like waking up and seeing the anesthesiologist standing there for just a second, and I remember hearing the doctor. She was, you know, on that side of me talking, and then it was like a really quick. Like I woke up and I shut my eyes, and I was out again. So I don't know if it was like like right at the very beginning and I hadn't quite gone out all the way or if it was like sometime in the middle. I don't even know. So, like, but I you didn't wake up and they weren't like, oops. And like, you know, when you hear that and you're like, why, what's the oops? I need, I I need more information. You don't want to hear any oopses when you're, no. when you're supposed to be under. <laughs> um, although I know somebody who did wake up didn't hear an oops, but just woke up and just like laid there pretending like they were asleep. I would not. They, did, they didn't want to be like, um, <laughs> so, hey, I'm awake. How's it going down there? You know, so they just kept their eyes shut and just pretended that they were sleeping and let them finish what they were doing. <laughs> no, I'm not. I'm not that kind. Oh, no. <laughs> Somebody's saying that she woke up during her hysterectomy. That would be horrible. Oh, my gosh. I am so sorry. That would be horrible. In wow. Canada, you're awake and you felt the whole thing? <gasps> no. I told, I told the doctor before. I'm like, make me go to sleep and make me go to sleep hard. Like, I don't want to. I don't want to be aware. <laughs> All of these stories are terrifying me that I'm like reading, which is why my face keeps changing. I, and I'm just, I'm going to do cola guard. Like I'm just, I've decided that's based on these conversations that I'm seeing cola guard. That's what I'm doing. 
That's so funny. You know, on the commercials, they say it cannot for sure detect colon cancer. Right. <laughs> That's just funny. Oh, oh my heck. Mm. I can't no. Wow. Oh, Molly, you need to for like build it up to be worse than it is. And it's really, it's really just not. You just have to make sure you plan on staying home for the whole day prior. So yeah. I just hung out in my hotel room all day yesterday, had my sister come up and take me. And it was all good. Yeah. I was, and it was so sore too. What? I was afraid of my mammogram because everyone's like, it hurts, blah, blah, blah. No, it didn't. No, it's fine. It is. Holy cow. Youth gal. What? There's somebody who, youth gal 2002 said, I'm hospitalized right now waiting on colon removal surgery. Get the colonoscopy. Holy hell. Oh my, my gosh. I'm so sorry that you're dealing with that. Hi, Elizabeth. How are you, my mm -hmm. friend? I am so sorry that you're dealing with that. Wow. Definitely get the colonoscopy. If it needs to be done, get it. Yep. I've had an endoscopy. Yes. Wendy asked if I've had, if anyone's had an endoscopy. I don't know what that so, is. That's the one that they don't put the same tube, obviously, but that's the tube that goes down your throat. <laughs> <laughs> I'm pretty sure it's a different tube. You <laughs> should not say things like that when i'm drinking water oh my gosh <laughs> that, that's funny but what does it hospital. check it's going down your throat but what's it checking just like all your like what? i think it can be like your um, i know like doris isn't she crazy <laughs> it can be like your esophagus your upper bowel your lower GI, your blah, blah, blah. I don't know. I'm not a doctor. Oh. <laughs> so grabbing, grabbing somebody's asking, why are you both so darn, darn thirsty? Well, first, I ha I'm in a very good habit of drinking, like, at least, usually it's close to a gallon, sometimes more, of water a day. Like, I sometimes not that much, but I try. But I just, I'm a big water drinker. I firmly believe in drinking lots of water what did so oh it's for stomach cancer what's that what did they ask i missed it somebody asked why we're both so darn thirsty i just i'm i drink water all the time also i couldn't drink anything. if they actually mean wanting liquids huh Nothing. thing go continue oh behave yourself if that's not what you meant you think, not you you think that they, they weren't really asking why we were thirsty <laughs> It has different meanings. Don't Google it. I'll tell you later. <laughs> Damn it. Why am I so naive sometimes? Naive? I don't know, but it's fun for me. And even if they're like actually... So I go off on these like, serious conversations <laughs> because I think that somebody's asking a real question. And uh -huh. then they're just being snarky. And it's I don't even get it. No, because you're so good and kind. It's okay. I'm here to fix that. <laughs> hey, do you remember that one time that I would I would text you and I would say, <laughs> what does STFU mean? Because people kept saying it all over social media and I didn't know. I'm like, what does STFU mean? And she'd send me a text back. What would your text back be? Shut the front up. I'm trying to be and good I'm about not swearing. Like, today. why are you being rude to me? I'm just asking you a question. <laughs> Don't tell me to shut that up. Yep. I want to know what STFU means. I literally <laughs> didn't know. And it was Fine. fun for me to just, like, continue to say it. Because, <laughs> you know, it's fun that way. Oh, <laughs> my gosh. Oh, my gosh. Holy Oh, 18. I thought it said 138. Don't I don't have my glasses on. Star, somebody, Joshman, what does that say? I Oh, please hold. They're right here. <laughs> They're very dirty, too. I need to clean them. Um, 18 polyps. That's a lot. Star and Josh, mom. Holy That's a lot. lot. They're crooked. Look at that. Why are they crooked? I need to take either my ears are crooked or... I need, they got crooked. Measure your, 
Your ears. Oh no, they're de See? definitely crooked. They don't sit on the table straight. Oh well, it's fine. <laughs> Please hold. <laughs> okay. So what's the plan? For what? I don't know. I'm so tired. I my poor son. I'm just just saying. You know what? Uh, listen, I have to tell you something. I've been thinking about this over the past week. And it's like, I, I remember when my mom passed away and, and even when my brother passed away and now Garrison. And I'm like, at what point, like, at, at what point, like, I, my words aren't even coming out of my mouth. It's like I'm grieving and I have to like focus on all that, that, like, cause it's healthy too. And also you've got like regular life that you have to do as well. Mm -hmm. You know, mm -hmm. I mean, I definitely do spend some time just sitting and doing nothing. Like I got home on Sunday and I just, I mean, I did laundry. That's all I could basically handle. You know what I mean? But you have to like get going, get going and doing life again, you know? And it's a, it's a weird thing to do. Like I'm leaving out of town for a week and it's a really weird thing to do in the midst of this, you know? Excuse me. I remember it was in October. It was when my brother died. Um, he died and I told him. <laughs> You, excuse me, you have to understand my my family's humor around death, like like my like my siblings' humor um, with, with death. So I talked to him. It was the last time that I saw him um, and had a conversation with him. And he goes, "Hey, I'm gonna. I'll let you know as soon as I know what D Day is." I'm like, "Thanks. Can you work it around my Disney trip? Because I've got a Disneyland trip planned." He's like, "Yeah, absolutely." You know what I mean? Like, it's just like, it's just what we do, right? Well, he did. He died just before Blair and I had our Disney trip planned. And and I told him, I, you know, I told my sister-in-law and everybody, I'm like, listen, I will cancel that trip. I, it doesn't even matter. Like, I will cancel my Disney trip for a funeral. It's not priority for sure, you know? Well, it ended up that the location that they... Um, well, is it the, the VA cemetery or veteran cemetery or whatever it's called in, in Salt Lake? Because um, he was he, he was Air Force, um, but, but they couldn't even get get him into the. Oh, it actually wasn't rude. Oh, but you have a laughy face, so maybe you're not being. I can't <laughs> tell your comment on if if you think I was rude or not. Like it was. It's just me and my brother. It's totally fine. There's no issues there. Anyway, so um, they tried to get, they wanted to, to do the funeral there, but they couldn't on a certain specific date. They literally couldn't do it until like two days after I got back from my Disney trip. Like, it was like, like he kind of planned that too. It's like he held to his word, you know what I mean? Like, it was kind of weird. But what was weird was being at Disneyland, having fun, enjoying life knowing i'm going to come back to go to my brother's fu brother's funeral you know what i mean like it's a really grief is a really weird thing knowing that you have to like still live and continue doing what you're going to do and also take your time to grieve too you know right it's it's just it's a weird thing but it's so it's it's such an individual thing and here's the thing you can't like you can't um like be critical of somebody how they grieve because some people don't grieve that way. Some people are going to hole up and some people are going to go party. You know what I mean? Like everybody does it their own way. And you just, yeah. like nobody has the monopoly on grief. We all do it. We all feel it. We just feel it different ways. Mm -hmm. So felt guilty from being happy. Molly. Yeah. Yeah. Like it's not, yeah, it's weird, right? Like it's weird. <laughs> But it's definitely so, so individualized. So anyway. Yeah. Yeah. It is. And 
it's just it's a lot to handle and to deal with so like yeah you got to handle it your way whatever well, it is then it's just there's like so many layers oh yeah i was just gonna say there's so many layers to it and um somebody just said who is it somebody with a whole bunch of numbers at the end of it two one one eight i can't see grief is so complex it's so complex because there are so many layers to it it's like pulling away an onion you know and there's just so many layers once you get through one there's another one so yeah. anyway but i really appreciate all your condolences all you guys who are making comments and sending love that is very kind of you i do see a lot of questions um and maybe you were not here at the very beginning but just so you know i'm not going to go into answering a lot of questions because um i'm just going to respect um garrison's mom and the family and i'm just not going to go into details okay so um but we have spent a lot of time together we will continue spending time together um you know in the next little bit and you know hopefully it can be healing for everybody absolutely and can i just put a psa out there and say guys when you hear that someone's passed away saying i'm sorry how is not don't just don't stop asking how stop asking how never ask how like holy hell it's kind of morbid and it's really upsetting yeah it's really weird like it's so it's really weird yeah so <laughs> it's, just it's, just, it's it's really i remember when um a friend of mine um a few years ago she had a child die and people were, were asking her all all over the place like how 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 it's like it doesn't matter how the fact is that somebody died and you're grieving you shouldn't put that that question out there yeah. you know what i mean how or why or when or what are the details it's like it doesn't matter let yeah let, let them grieve them grieve you know yeah yeah anyway um, wow this turned into like a whole thing but you know i i mean like based on the amount of comments phone calls messages social media things that every single one of us have received like i think we knew this would kind of be this friday with friends and yeah again like yeah. The, the kind words have been amazing yeah. and are totally shared and i'm sure they're appreciated when they're just words of kindness and compassion yeah and that's really all it needs to be is compassion you know it's there doesn't need to be anything other than that and unfortunately with us being a, a public family there is a lot more than that which is actually pretty despicable honestly um just let people grieve because we all love that so anyway yeah anyway on that note <laughs> probably time to almost end this because i've got to get home to a sick kiddo i've slept maybe three hours in the last day Are you My serious? Husband, yeah sean's like texted and he's like he's doing fine now but you know when something yes. hits this town it hits every kid in this town so sorry he's so sick that sucks it's you know twice in one week monday was an ear infection and friday was the virus like this is how he goes poor guy so yeah, you know I, I walk into the pharmacy and they're like oh you're back <laughs> how was your week <laughs> Shut up. that's crazy <gasps> hi somebody just jumped on and i just want to say hi to him and i love you if you're still watching so anyway all right thank you for hanging out with us today y'all 